Welcome back to the workshop, Ritual Woodworking. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a couple items in the workshop that I started from the very beginning, uh, before I got all the other things that I've done videos on. These are two items that were kind of at the very beginning. Uh, and so I'm going to talk about them. First one being this, this stool. This is a stool, not my design. This is back before I was designing anything. Um, this is a simple plywood stool, uh, very easy to make. I got these plans from uh, the Family uh, Handyman website, uh, but there's a lot of others like it out there. There's plenty of YouTube videos that show variations of this, so if you want to make one, you can, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, pretty simple A-frame shape. Uh, there's a shelf underneath that has uh, walls on both sides so things don't roll off. Top. Uh, it's all plywood, all made of plywood. Now this doesn't have, some of these have a slot or a hole in the middle uh, that helps you to pick it up and carry it. Mine doesn't have that, but I don't need it either. Uh, it's had a lot of uses both for sitting as well as as a work surface. Uh, this was used to help build the other item I'm going to show you. And so as well as several items after that uh, before the uh, workbench was made. And so it's a very versatile item. So here's an example of using the stool, not as a seated surface, but as a sort of a work surface. I have used this uh, in the shop a couple times, but more often around the house where I needed a good work surface, uh, but was, you know, was in a place that didn't have one. I can attach my vise, a small metal vise, you know, use it with a saw, do some cutting. That sort of thing. Um, this is the small pieces that I had shown in another video on the cobalt work uh, station. They're cupped up in this area up here. They fit, they're molded, and, or not molded, they're shaped and constructed to fit inside the metal vise to protect wood that might be used in it. It's a piece of poplar. Uh, and again, the tools are kept down here in the tray. Additionally, you can use bench hook, stick that up in there, do stuff on there in the same way you would on a workbench, uh, just like you would down here. The way the book, the work, uh, the bench hook works, there's a uh, piece of wood on each side. And of course, it works either way. Usually, this side, for me, this side is used with chisel work or something like that. And then this side, because pieces missing here, would be used for sawing. And so you can use that here on your workbench on this portable stool that I take outside. So uh, this one's got some stain splashed on it. Uh, so you can guess it may have been used for some finishing work as well. I'll lay out some paper uh, or whatever, and then you can put your item on top and apply your stain, shellac, polyurethane, whatever it is you want to use. I've used it for that purpose. Construction-wise, uh, as I said, it's very simple. You have two sort of A-shaped uh, pieces on the side. There's a piece in the middle with two, one piece on either end, and then a piece here and there, and a piece on top. Uh, it's all fit together with number eight um, screws. I used a star-shaped screw because uh, that was easy at the time, but uh, otherwise it's very easy construction. And as I said, the, there appear to be a lot of videos out there on making something similar. It's a great thing to have in your workshop. So the other item that I built was a saw bench. This is a, uh, a saw bench, as you would make for sawing material. Uh, it's got sort of that alligator top on top. Also has a hole, and sometimes I can put a dog hole or a dog in there, press wood against it for planing or uh, using my cabinet scraper on that sort of thing. Uh, very versatile piece of equipment. Uh, this was also one of the first things I had in the shop. Uh, very helpful for uh, if you're cutting a long board, put the board all out the end, work your way through until you get to this point, then you just extend some more, uh, or use the other way and have your board across this way. 
uh, and you'll and with your knee down on it. And there are plenty of videos out there on how to use a saw bench. So check some of those out. Um, but this is uh, a piece that was made from scraps that I already had at the time. Uh, I may have bought the two by fours, but all the rest of this was stuff that I found in the house uh, from the lumber that came with it. The saw bench was made uh, right after the uh, small wooden stool was made. In fact, uh, there's some pictures here that show its assembly with the uh, small wooden stool used as part of that process. And that is my saw bench and small wooden shop stool.